Hey everybody, Kim here and welcome to Character Camera and multi painting Layout in Toon Boom Harmony. In this video I'm going to particularly be looking at the character's movement through the scene and then we're going to move on to camera movements and the background multiplay. As you can see in the scene I've already set up everything with my character and my background. We're missing a camera movement and a character movement and also a multiplane effect where the character can move between the foreground and the background. So you can see I've got a storyboard animatic at the top here. I brought that in from my library and it will be available to download with this lesson. So what I'm going to look at right now is just how the character moves through the scene. So you can see he moves slowly towards the edge of the camera pan. So that's all I'm going to be focusing on right now and then I'll move on to my camera movements. So I'm going to grab the layer that my character's on. In this case it's called Character Layout. And I'm going to add a peg by pressing this button in my timeline. I'm going to make sure my Animation Man is turned on. And then I'm going to find the first frame and add a keyframe. I'm then going to move to the point where my character stops moving in the animatic and put another keyframe there. Make sure that you're adding your keyframes on the peg of the character layout and not on the drawing layer. So the character stops moving right here. I'm going to place another keyframe by pressing the keyframe button on my timeline toolbar. So now I've got two keyframes and on the second keyframe here I'm going to actually move him across on my screen. You can use the transform tool to do this or you can use one of the advanced animation tools in the advanced animation toolbar. If you cannot find this toolbar it's in your Windows toolbars advanced animation. I'm just going to use the transform tool and using my shift and arrow keys on my keyboard I'm going to move him across to more or less where he should be in terms of what the animatic's showing me. So now we have two points, one here and one where the character is in his original position. This one here needs to be moved back straight out of the scene. So again I'm going to use my shift arrow keys and I'm going to move him behind these rocks over here out of the scene. And now we need to get the character to move. So I'm going to add a motion between these two keyframes. You can do this by clicking the first keyframe and pressing Ctrl and K on your keyboard or you can select the first keyframe and press this button over here in your timeline view toolbar, set motion keyframe. They both do the same thing. And you'll start to see a movement happening with your character. Now at this point we can take a look at the animatic and we can see our characters coming in a little bit earlier than the one in the animatic. We can just take this first keyframe and move it across by one or two to get the timing almost exact to the animatic. Now we have a character moving through the scene just like he needs to do in the animatic. In the next video we're going to check out how to do the camera movements and the multiplaning. See you there! 